Hi, Eric Boyer, Director of Marketing with Blue Microphones of uh, Westlake Village, California. And um, I'm going to run through the product line here. First product we have on display is our, our flagship, which is called the Bottle Microphone. Uh, it's been around uh, for about 10 years now. We offer eight different capsules for it. Each capsule has a different function and a different tonality. Um, it's, it's really best thought of as uh, less of a, of a microphone and more of a microphone system. Uh, and, and most people who've heard it, they're, they're pretty amazed with the sound and uh, come back and usually end up telling me that uh, they don't know how they ever got along in their studio without it. We're very proud of this product and uh, it is uh, what we, we like to call the highest expression of the microphone building art. Uh, it's completely handmade, class A discrete circuit, handmade hand tuned capsules. Uh, comes with an anvil flight case, one of the most advanced power supplies in the industry, uh, and uh, also one of the most advanced power supply cables. Uh, you put all those things together and you come up with something that is truly a superlative front end for any recording system. Um, next product uh, we have here is the Blue Cactus, and uh, this is also a tube mic. Uh, the key we, or excuse me, the bottle is, is a uh, tube mic. Uh, as is the, the Cactus. The Cactus uses our B7 capsule, which is a handmade, hand-tuned capsule, and um, it uh, has a very warm, uh, sort of a compressed mid-range, um, excellent vocal microphone, particularly if you're looking for that classic vocal tone. Um, also, as a tube mic, same kind of power supply and power supply cable and anvil flight case that you get with the bottle. A little more economical, alternative to the bottle mic, um, uh, yet with only a single capsule, which is, as I said, the, the B7, which is one of the capsules available for the bottle mic. Moving on to the Kiwi, this is the flagship of our solid state line, and uh, this is a large diaphragm condenser. Uh, it features nine different polar patterns uh, with, again, a handmade, hand-tuned capsule. Um, and this, the, the capsule used in the Kiwi is our B6 capsule, which is uh, the capsule consequently that we ship with our bottle mic. It has a little more modern sound, a little more mid-range forward presentation than what you would expect to hear from something like the Cactus with its B7 capsule going for, uh, for a little more of the, the vintage thing. The Kiwi also includes the shock mount um, and uh, we feel it is uh, a, a very versatile mic and uh, a great alternative to some of the uh, more expensive large diaphragm condensers that you're, you're likely to find out there. Uh, moving on, we have the mouse microphone. And the mouse was, is really kind of a unique mic in that it was initially designed for, for male broadcast vocals. So this is your, your male announcer mic, your radio mic, um, but it also has um, a, a nice bump in the, in the low end and also in the high mids. So you get a lot of detail, not only out of a voice, but out of things like kick drums, bass guitars. Uh, it, it actually um, is one of my favorite kick drum mics. Uh, it absolutely gives you that just nice, big, huge, tight and punchy kick drum um, remin reminiscent of uh, uh, some of the uh, vintage classics. Um, also features an uh, internal shock mount and rotating grill, which is very handy for uh, setup. New this year in the mouse line is the Omni Mouse. And this is uh, actually a microphone that we'll start shipping around uh, hopefully January of, this, of, of next year. And this uses it's the same exact amplifier body as the mouse microphone, but with our B4 capsule. Now the B4 capsule is one of the capsules that's also available for the, bot, the bottle mic. Um, and the B4 uh, is, is called a Perspex Omni. And the idea being that you actually have a medium-sized diaphragm omnidirectional transducer encased in a Perspex sphere, which helps to increase bass response. Um, it uh, also has been used in, in some other models by some other manufacturers. Um, and this particular model is, is intended for use as an orchestration mic. Again, should be shipping um, December or January. Um, the next mic in the line here is the Blueberry. And if the, if the mouse is our, is our big heavy bottom mic, uh, the Blueberry is really our sweet and pretty mic. Um, this is a microphone that I absolutely love on female vocals. It's got a, a very extended top end. In fact, this is really our brightest uh, microphone. And so because of that, anything with a high-end transient, uh, not only female voices, but things like uh, bells, chimes, hand percussion, 
um, you know, and anything where you've got that that uh, high frequency transient that you want to capture with minimal distortion and, and noise, the Blueberry is, is an excellent choice for that. Uh, the other thing I really, in fact, my, my favorite use for the Blueberry is, is nylon string acoustic guitar. Uh, absolutely beautiful. The guitar just really, really jumps out of the out of the speakers and just lives somewhere within the room uh, when recorded with a Blueberry. Blueberry also includes the uh, Series 1 shock mount that you see it uh, mounted in here. Then we move on to the Dragonfly. The Dragonfly was, was intended as, as sort of a general instrumentation mic, um, but it has a, a, a wide variety of, of uses, particularly useful when you're looking for sort of a heavier um, rock sound. It's actually got a little bit of an edge to it, um, whereas most of our, our microphones sound very pristine and very, very hi-fi. Um, the mic has this, or the, the uh, Dragonfly has this really nice little fuzz on the top end. Now, I don't, I don't intend to say that it sounds distorted in any way because it doesn't, but you have to hear it to understand what I'm talking about. And it's really, again, it's that, it's that mid-range forward presentation. Lots of detail in the mids, making it ideal for things like guitars, drum overheads, uh, bass guitar cabinets, and, uh, and vocals, rock vocals especially. Also features the rotating uh, capsule, which makes it very handy for placement and includes the Series 1 uh, shock mount. This is, by the way, uh, on drum overheads, uh, widely regarded as, as one of the better choices uh, you can make, particularly for, for rock drums. The Baby Bottle was really our first quote-unquote affordable microphone, um, and uh, this, this came about as the, as the result of um, some of our retailers um, who really, really fell in love with our product line we're looking for something a little more affordable that, that they could use to introduce their customers to Blue. Um, and hence was born the Baby Bottle. Um, same Class A discreet handmade quality that you find in, in the, the rest of the product line. Um, high quality uh, capsule and uh, excellent detail, but particularly in the mid-range. One of the signatures of the, the, the Baby Bottle is that it tends to have uh, a, a warmer sound, a little more mellow sound, and a slightly compressed mid-range. Um, ideal for a, a wide variety of, of sources and I particularly like this on uh, steel string acoustic guitar. Very, very nice on that. Some people may remember the Bluebird was initially available um, only as part of a DigiDesign product bundle. And this was a microphone that we actually, um, we, we kind of put our heads together with Digi and they wanted to have a microphone that they could include in a bundle to just give their customer a box to take home and go home and start recording. Um, we've, we've now uh, uh, made the uh, Bluebird available as an individual SKU for, for our customers. And it sort of has uh, what I like to describe as, as almost an inverted frequency response to, to the baby bottle. The baby bottle has got that warm and mellow sound. The Bluebird is really a very modern sounding microphone. It's a very nice high end uh, with, with lots of mid-range detail. Um, ideal for a, a wide variety of applications, uh, vocals certainly, guitar miking, um, drum overheads, um, also very nice on, on, on uh, reed instruments, saxophones, clarinets, that kind of thing. In fact, with the, the Bluebird and the Baby Bottle together, I think there's a lot of synergy. They, they tend to work really nicely together and there's very little you can't do uh, with, with these two mics. Um, this is our spherical line of, of microphones. Um, we have the ball. The kickball, the eight ball, and the snowball. And I'll talk about each of them individually now. The ball was Blue's first dynamic microphone, and it's also an active dynamic microphone. It features a Class A uh, discrete buffer amplifier, which um, helps to uh, solve the problem of voice coil loading and make sure that the, uh, the microphone always has consistent um, impedance at the output um, and uh, making it a very versatile microphone. Um, as a dynamic, it's very rugged and it has that uh, sort of dynamic sound to it, but it sort of has the effect, the, the, the uh, buffer amplifier sort of has the effect of, of taking the uh, pillow out in front of the speaker, if you will. It really, really opens up the mic quite a bit. Um, and uh, we, we like to say this, this microphone is sort of our all-purpose dynamic microphone. Guitars, drums, anywhere you would use some of the more well-known dynamic microphones, give the ball a try. The kickball is a, uh, also a dynamic microphone. As its name implies, it's uh, designed specifically for miking kick drums. It um, has a three-position bass contour switch on the rear, 
and also features our same Class A discrete buffer amplifier active circuit. Um, nice big punchy kick drum, uh, live applications, studio applications. Uh, this is the, the mic of choice for, for that use. Then here we have the eight ball. Now the eight ball is similar in, in, in shape to the, the ball, the, the blue ball and the, the uh, kick ball, except the eight ball is actually a condenser. Um, and this is really what we consider to be our introduction to the blue product line. Um, very smooth high end, nice detailed mid range, tight punchy low, low end, everything you'd expect from a blue in a very affordable package. Also, the 8-ball is displayed in the blue ringer, which is a shock mount that was designed specifically for the, our spherical line of microphones. But the nice thing about this is because of this universal thread mount down here, um, you can mount virtually any microphone inside the ringer. So this becomes a universal shock mount. Um, anything that will fit through this, this hole right here, um, as long as it has a standard thread mount, you should be able to mount uh, inside the ringer. And it's a, it's a very, very sturdy shock mount. And the latest addition to the uh, spherical line is the Blue Snowball. The Snowball is a very unique microphone in that, um, I don't know if you can see this, there's a USB cable attached to this, and it has USB connectivity. Notice there's no XLR, it's just a USB. Um, the, the Snowball features uh, two different polar patterns, Omni and Cardioid, and it's really designed to have a, a, a wide range of applications. Certainly, um, uh, 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 software users will want it for the various software packages, uh, music creation software packages, but also we see a great market here for people who are, for example, um, using internet telephone service or uh, people who are using internet conferencing and need a high quality transducer for those applications. We've gotten a lot of calls from uh, uh, school teachers who want to design interactive DVDs for their students and they want to have a very easy to use interface uh, for that purpose. Um, uh, uh, college students who want to record lectures directly onto their, their laptops. The range of uses is really unlimited and because of the USB connectivity it couldn't be simpler to use. No mic pre, just plug it in and um, you're up and running. So that's the uh, Blue Microphone line. Thank you very much.